everybody, it's Tina again from Tina's Talk Time. Welcome to my channel if you've not been here before, thank you for popping in. And to all my lovely regular subscribers, thank you for coming back. I feel like I've made loads of new friends. Anyway, uh, today I've got a real mixed bag of things uh, to show you. Um, Sandy and I, about, I think it was last week, a week last Saturday, a bit late putting this up, we went to the Capital Centre, which is at Walton Liddale near Preston. It's like, you know, like a retail park, I couldn't think of the word. Um, anyway, um, we went in, we didn't go in lots of shops, but we did go, we went to go and have a look at the Home Sense. And can you believe they've got all the Halloween stuff? Well, I don't know if it's all of it, but they've got lots of Halloween stuff in. And you know I'm a sucker for Halloween, but I didn't buy anything. I'm trying not to buy anything this year because... You can only have so much, can't you? And also, um, we went in, they've got a massive home bargains there, which was really good. And I tell you uh, what it has, it's got a little cafe in and it was so reasonable and the food was so nice, what we had. So if you ever go to a home bargains with a little cafe in, first one I've ever seen, uh, just try it out. I mean, I think the coffee, we got two, I don't know, were they ch cappuccinos? I think they were two cappuccinos, which were really nice, just as nice as what you get from Costa or Starbucks. And then I had a hot dog and Sandy had a bacon roll and it was like five pounds for all of it. We couldn't believe it. Anyway, I'm digressing really. So anyway, we did some shopping in Home Bargains and then we, we went to... Um, we did, I think we went to Home Sense and TK Maxx and then we just popped in next. So I've got some footage of what was new like in the stores, which I'll pop on at the end. Uh, but I just want to show you what I actually bought. I've had, I had a bit of a mishap because I couldn't find the receipt for the home bargains, but I found it now. So, um, and also I've got a couple of other buys that I've bought this week uh, that I thought I'd show you. Right, well, first of all, I don't know whether any of you ever get the gift bags from Home Bargains, but they're beautiful. Look at this one, isn't it nice? I always like to have one in, it was 79p. And it's got like a little diamante heart on, really nice. And I think they have wrapping paper to match. Really good buy. And then there was a, a range in there called Tom's Kitchen. Um, and it was like all kitchenware. Um, I'm not sure which which chef it is, but anyway, it's called Tom's Kitchen. I didn't particularly recognise him. Maybe you might recognise his face. I should have Googled it, shouldn't have to find out how it was. Anyway, first of all, I got a grater. I have got a long grater, but I thought that was really good. And it was ever so reasonable, £2.49. I think that's really good. So it's got like um, a shield on there to keep it so you don't catch yourself on it while it's in the drawer. So I got that and then I got, I needed some more wooden spoons. And I thought that one was lovely. It's an acacia, is it, a, how do you pronounce it? Acacia wooden spoon. Um, and it's like even embossed with um, Tom's kitchen on. And it's got a hole in should you have anywhere to hang it up. And I think that was only just over a pound. Oh, one ninety nine it was. But it's really good quality. I was really pleased with that. I needed some more wooden spoons. And did I get anything else from the range? No, I just think I just got those two things from that range. Right, most of the others, like um, when I say beauty products, like hand gel and stuff like that. But I'll just show you. Um, I got this. Cousin's Happiness Bottled Vanilla and Shea Butter Hand Wash. Now this was 99p, but I saw it in Home Bargains, uh, in uh, B&M's, and I'm sure it was 1.99 in B&M's. Um, it's 500 ml, so I was really pleased with that. I love um, a vanilla fragrance hand wash. And then I got, oh, I got some, oh no, they're not from there. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up here. Oh, I've got um, this. It's a firming moisturiser and it's got retinol in. It's Biovene. 
organic strawberry, retinol and cherry firming moisturiser. So I just thought I'd try this because this was very reasonable. This was just 2 99 So that's amazing. Then I got two lots of toothpaste. I bought that because it was only 39p. And I thought that is absolutely great for taking away, you know, when you go away. Um, so I'll probably pack that away for Cornwall. And then I got this one. It's a whitening toothpaste. And it says whiter, five times whiter, recommended by dentists. And it's called White Glow. Now this was more expensive. But it's quite a big tube. It's, it says enamel safe fluoride protection whiter teeth in seven days double mint and it's 205 grams so I'm going to try that and I'll let you know how I get on with it now I think this was quite a bit dearer it was £2.49 which still isn't bad is it for that size you know it's really good then I saw this and this is another one of the bio vein or vine, vein or whatever they are products. And it's uh, an anti-aging face fluid and it's got 50 SPF in. And it's also got um, hyaluronic acid, I can't say that word, Ni niacin, green tea and organic coconut. So that, that was reasonable as well. It was the 50 um, sunscreen that I, I really will let you know how, because it's, there's only 40 mils in, but I will be buying some more if it's all right. Well, you know, you've got to get these things while they have them in. And I'm trying to look how much this was. This is 2 So that's good value, isn't it? Then I got a Crichton's uh, Cocoa Butter Hand Cream was a uh, pound and nine pence 50 mils and they also got now these were i don't know how i'll go on but my hair's got a bit blonde um in the summer with it being out in the sun i think it's with bowling my hair's got uh, very blonde uh, and sort of yellowy i'm not keen on the color of it and um i do love my paul mitchell shampoo but it is quite expensive so i thought i'd try this it's the purple shampoos and um, the Crichton's Purple Shampoo and Conditioner, and they were only a pound and nine pence each. I do have a feeling that I've tried these before and they were okay, but I just thought that was brilliant, a pound and nine p. And then just two more things. Oh, I got another hand wash, which was the a, a same price. And then I always get my hay fever tablets, either from there or from Aldi. And they were 79p. Right, now, what else did I buy? So, as I was saying, we nipped up to the next sale. Um, and so, I bought, I didn't buy many things, but I bought a few beauty products. I brought a brow pomade. Now, this had been £10 and it, it was £3. I, I need a new brow product. I don't know how I'll go on with it. I've not had it before. Um... That's it, and it's got a little brush in there. So I'll try that, and I'll let you know how I go on with it. That was three pounds. Then I got four lipsticks, which um, I like a matte lipstick, and I like a matte eyeshadow. Uh, and this was four for ten pounds instead of twenty-four pounds. So I saw for two pound fifty each because they do look quite nice. There was different colours, but they're the colours that I chose. Um, sort of on the nudie, taupey colours, you know. So I'm quite pleased with those. Um, I'll see how I go on trying them on, you know. There was one that's got a luster in, which I don't think I'll be as fond of. But they, they're very nice, look. Seeing good quality. They feel creamy. Yeah. So I'm pleased with those. Four for ten pounds. And then just a few things that I bought from Aldi. I got... Um, oh no, this was from Next as well. Sorry. Uh, it was just a body butter. Do you know, every time I pick it up, there's a, I can feel water. I don't know whether 
it's evaporating inside of something. Yeah, look, there's water inside, so maybe I shouldn't look. So maybe I wouldn't recommend this, but actually it was very nice on my legs and it was three pound. It's funny, I kept thinking every time I picked it up, it was wet. And then there's a Summer Touch Booty Balm. Uh, this was 4 99 and it's a copy of that Bum Bum Cream. It's just like a body cream, but it's quite a good size. Um, and my legs have been very dry lately, the fronts of my legs, so I thought it'd be good from there. I've dripped some of that stuff on the carpet. And then the other thing that I bought from Aldi, these probably were a little bit expensive. There was four, but I've taken one out. There were the silk scrunchies, uh, they don't damage your hair. And I think they were 4 99 for four. So, so that's my bargains of the week. Uh, now there is one other thing that I just want to show you that I bought. Um, I'll just go and get it. Right, well, I don't know whether any of you follow Ruth Langsford on Instagram, but I do. And she showed this product. She wasn't, she wasn't advertising it or anything. She bought it herself and she thought it was great. So she thought she'd show it to everybody. And it's storage for shoes. I'm a bit of a sucker. I immediately ordered them. Um, this six pieces in here. So there's a set of six shoe holders um and you can see how she does it there i should have brought some shoes down um one goes underneath and one goes on top and there's six of them in this box and it's 20 pound from john lewis uh, one shoe goes there and then the other goes on the top like that can you see so i was quite i was pleased with them but then i thought well i still got to have the space to stack them up so my wardrobe won't be as big as roots um but anyway it, it's just an idea that isn't it something a bit different so i got those now what i was going to do was i was going to go through the aldi leaflet because there's some beauty dupes coming in next week um but i'm not going to do that now because it's going to make this video too far too long so tomorrow um i haven't got anything to review it's my review wednesday but i haven't got anything to review this week but what i thought i'd show you is um i'll go through the oldie leaflet with you um showing you the new products uh which are coming in on sunday now there's a new thing with the uh, oldie you used to be able to order the special buys online but this you know you could order them the week before pre-order them but they're stopping doing that now you have to go in store to buy them so anyway i'll show you those tomorrow and also um on amazon prime day i did buy a new steamer um i've got a steamer it's it's a big one that i got for my daughter's um bridesmaids dresses uh but it, it takes up quite a bit of room and i just wanted a decent handheld one anyway i got some advice off helen mary joe because she I remember her showing some steamers a while ago and she told me which one she got and I was really pleased because it, it was quite a bit cheaper on Amazon Prime Day. So I'll just show you that and I'll go through the Aldi um, and anything else I can think of. But as I say, there won't be a particular review Wednesday because I've nothing to review. <laughs> I, I could review my new steamer, so that's what I'll do. So anyway, that's my shopping for this week and I'm glad I can put them all away now. Um, so thank you for watching and if you'd like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. No pressure, but if you would like to, I'd love you to join me. Um, it doesn't cost anything and it just really helps me out. Um, so um, I'll see you, well, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I'm at the hairdressers in the afternoon, so... I have to try and get it done in the morning. Anyway, bye for now. Right, this is when we first went into Home Sense. We do come back after. Um, we were looking at the flowers. There's some beautiful fake flowers. Um, Sandy and I have both bought some flowers from there in the past. Lots of lovely plants and, um, you know, lovely bouquet. Well, things that you could make a lovely bouquet out of. There's all sorts of different coloured ones. The peonies there, Sandy and I have bought those before now. 
In fact, I must look what I've done with mine. I moved them out when I um, decorate. Well, when I I didn't decorate the back room, but when I repainted it, and I'm not sure what I've done with them. <laughs> Excuse my camera work; it's not very good. Right here is some of the Halloween things. I, I don't really know what owls I've got to do with Halloween, but they were there with all the Halloween things. I love home sense. We do have a TK Maxx uh, locally, but we don't have a home sense. Some more Halloween things. Did you see the great big witch? <laughs> I was going to say I don't know who'd have that, but I do know my cousin would have had it. <laughs> are you listening, Diane? <laughs> I love the boo sign there. The colours are really nice. We just popped in here for a short time and then we went into Home Bargains and then came back. Oh, here we are in Home Bargains. This is the Tom's Kitchen where... As you can see, there's lots of different things. They're all they all seem very good quality as well. You see, Tom Kerridge, I, I I can't think who it is. Oh yeah, one ninety nine the spoons were. The boards were nice as well, but I don't really need any more, but I did think they were nice. rolling pin there and I love the enamel trays um I always find they're very useful while right, we're at the beauty products now this is the toothpaste I was telling you about I'm sure it said it had been quite expensive I'm sure it said it had been about 11 pound or something this is that uh, range you know that I was telling you about with the um, SPF in all very reasonable it was. You just have to get the things when you see them in home bargains, don't you? It is a massive home bargain to one at the capital centre. It's really big. This is a 39p toothpaste. Big difference, but it's very reasonable, isn't it? Now, I, do you remember when uh, we did one of the challenges, I got a small one of those, like cup, ball and cup, but um, they have big ones there. This is a hand um, wash. This is all the different shampoos. There's some lovely shampoos in there. This is the one I got. A pound and nine pence, it's very reasonable. They had quite a bit of clothing in this one. Oh, I don't know how come I've got back to shampoos. <laughs> Must have been wandering around.
these were for in your garden. Uh, not my, it's not my cup of tea, but I know lots of people do like them. Oh, now we're back in uh, Home Sense. We did go, we went in and then we went back in, you know, so. I always think all their, um, the kitchenware and the and the bakeware and the um, dinnerware is lovely in Home Sense. I thought that was lovely the, with the lemons on, but um, I just don't know where I put them. But anybody starting out, it, it would be some lovely things. And they're all very good quality, aren't they? Look at these silver drawers, aren't they unusual? I, I was looking for a painting. I, I want a picture from a back room. Um and I wanted something like abstracty, like that, but uh, the colours weren't right. I thought these plates were nice. I did actually buy um, just a white plate uh, that I thought would be good when I'm doing a cooking video. I forgot to show it you. I will show it you um, maybe tomorrow when I come on. Um, it was, I wished I bought two, actually. Oh, I just thought I'd film these bags. Aren't they nice? They do such lovely bags. They're like works of art. All the paint brushes. I thought that was an unusual bag. Then these are just all the toiletries. I think this actually was in TK Maxx, which is next door to the Home Sense. Yes, it was. It was just upstairs in TK Maxx. I thought that vase was beautiful. And then these were great big um, jars of tea. Tins of tea, should I say. They weren't cheap, though. They were quite expensive, I felt. Probably not. I think this one here was about £15. It was very big, but even then. And this, this is some of the white dinner services. I always think you can't go wrong with the white. It blends in with everything. Anyway, I think I'm coming towards the end of my, uh, um, the pic oh, I just must show you these pictures. I've been looking for a picture for my, oh, my um, front room, but I haven't been able to find one. Anyway, I'm going now. So ha thank you for watching. See you next time.